problem is from probability. See here in this question, the probabilities that students A, B, C, D solve a problem are 1 by 3, 2 by 5, 1 by 5 and 1 by 4 respectively. If all of them try to solve the problem, what is the probability that the problem is solved? See here, there are four students A, B, C, D. So the probability of A to solve the problem is 1 by 3 and the probability to B the to solve the problem is 2 by 5 and the probability for C to solve the problem is 1 by 5 and the probability for D to solve the problem is 1 by 4. If all of them try to solve the problem, what is the probability that the problem is solved? So, see here in this question what is given? Given the probabilities of A, B, C, D solving the problem C is P of A is equal to 1 by 3, P of B is equal to 2 by 5. P of C is equal to 1 by 5 and P of D is equal to 1 by 4. It's from the question. The probability that the problems problem is not solved by A, B, C, D, R. See here, the complement probability of A bar is equal to 1 minus probability of A. That is 1 minus 1 by 3, which is equal to 2 by 3. The probability that A cannot solve the problem. The probability that B cannot solve the problem is 1 minus P of B, which is equal to, this is 3 by 5. The probability for not solving the problem by C is C bar. That is 1 minus P of C. What is P of C here? That is 1 by 5. 1 minus 1 by 5, which is equal to 4 by 5. The probability that it is not, the problem is not solved by D. That is probability of D bar. So, which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4. See here as probability of D is 1 by 4. Probability of D bar is 1 minus 1 by 4 which is equal to 3 by 4. These are all the probabilities that A bar, B bar, C bar, D bar cannot solve the problem. So, these are A, B, C, D solves the problem are 1 third, 2 by 5, 1 by 5 and 1 by 4. So all the values are ready with us and see what is the question asked. What is the probability that the problem is solved? See here. The probability that A cannot solve is 2 by 3. The probability that B cannot solve is 3 by 5. Probability that C cannot solve the problem is 4 by 5. And the probability that D cannot solve is 3 by 4. The probability that the problem is not solved when A, B, C, D try to gather independently is probability of A bar complement, B bar com intersection, C bar intersection, D bar. See here, this is the intersection. The probability that the problem is not solved when A, B, C, D try to gather independently is, see here, they are independent events. So, in place of intersection, we are getting P of A bar dot P of B bar dot P of C bar dot P of D bar. So, all the values are ready here. That is 2 by 3, 3 by 5, 4 by 5 and 3 by 4. If we multiply, so the probability that the problem is not solved. See here, it is not solved. When A, B, C, D try to gather is 6 by 25. And now what is asked? What is the probability that the problem is solved? The probability that the problem is solved is 1 minus probability of the problem not solved by 4 of them when they sit together. That is probability of A bar intersection, B bar intersection, C bar intersection, D bar. The answer is 6 by 25. 1 minus 6 by 25. That is equal to 19 by 25. Therefore, the probability that the problem is solved is 19 by 25. See here, the question is so easy here. So, let me explain you. The probabilities that the students A, B, C, D solve the problems are 1 third, 2 by 5, 1 by 5 and 1 by 4. So, these are all the probabilities that A, B, C, D solve independently. The probabilities that the problem not solved is P of A bar, P of B bar, P of C bar and P of D bar. So, we want the probability that the problem is solved. So, first of all, I am finding the probability that the problem is not solved by A, B, C, D when they try together independently as they are independent events. So, we need the problem which is not solved that is P of A bar intersection, B bar intersection, C bar intersection, D bar. So, if I multiply all these values, so 
we got that the probability that the problem is not solved when a b c d try together so now we need the probability that the problem is solved so this is the question <coughs> this is the solution we need that is 1 minus probability not solved if you take the probability of not solved we'll be getting the probability that the problem is solved that is 1 minus p of a bar intersection b bar intersection c bar intersection d bar here the answer is a 6 by 25 1 minus 6 by 25 is 19 by 25 therefore the probability that the problem is solved is 19 by 25 thank you so much for watching hope you guys understand this one this is the most most important question repeatedly asked question Please concentrate and definitely if you really like, please raise your thumb and pass it on to your friends.